keeping the kids entertained <laughs> during the school holidays can be tricky, tiring, and at times expensive. Well, it sure yeah. can. So how do you make the most of that precious time with your little ones without blowing the budget? Beloved children's entertainer Susie Cato joins us this morning with some tips, tricks, and a whole bunch of school holiday stuff. Love it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's keeping me entertained. To forget about the gadget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so you've got uh, a couple of weeks to fill in. Three almost this month, yes, I think. Yeah. It's um, at exactly home April. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So what do you do? Kids are like, I'm bored. Hey, well, there's the thing is, you've got a house full of things. You can open up the kitchen cupboards. You can play. You can, you can cook. You can bake. You can do all those sorts of things. But if you've got loads of recycling, then you can get creative as well. And the idea is to, okay, spend a little bit of time on the screens, because I am going to say that um, suzy.co.nz is a fantastic <laughs> website. And the YouTube channel, which is Suzy Cato's Tree Hut TV, um, has like, we've got over 600 videos there of arts and crafts and games and songs and toys and all the rest of it. So go and check it out, but then get it inspired and move away from the screen and go and do it yourself. Okay, so, so use that for the idea and then... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Go and look in the cupboard. Yes, 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 yes. And grab some paper and make a massive... I've always been be. terrible at making paper planes, to be fair. Well, I've got kids on my YouTube channel showing me how to do it. And Love so, it. yeah, this is one my son taught me how to make. So I just whipped this up yesterday. Shall I fly? You, towards go, Maddie. Yes, Maddie, go, Maddie, go Maddie, can it come to you? Wide shot, wide shot, wide shot. Oh, oh, nearly. I just didn't get the angle good, right. Good. It's made it to the other side of the studio. It's just lost a bit of height. height yes, it's exactly. landed early. I think it had the weight issue there. It needed a bit more lift, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, but so, look, with these to having just been... This I've collected for the last few years, and you can make so much. You can do your collage, you can twist it and make it. Remember, you used to make um, little goblets by twisting it around your finger and then twisting the end and making the bottom flat and standing it up. Okay, we'll do that during the break, that's fine. Now, for a lot of parents, Susie, <laughs> they might be saying, okay, but the screens mean that I get a bit of peace and quiet. Yes. But you can get a bit of peace. And quiet. Okay, not so much quiet. Well, it's the holidays. <laughs> it's the holidays. But with some simple activities, some blocks, some, some things like this, the kids are going to spend ages trying to put this together and then seconds breaking it apart. It's an exploding boomerang. So, so they spend ages and they're going to need a little bit of your help. But this is the best gift that you can ever give your child is your time. One-on-one hmm. -on -one time spent joyfully <laughs> making these things for them only to explode within seconds. But you know, your scrap paper, your, um, there are so many activities too. I'm involved, I'm gonna show you a couple of things here. I'm involved in Wild Dunedin. So if you're anywhere near Dunedin next weekend, Wild Dunedin starts, it's the um, New Zealand's Festival of Nature. And there are tons of free activities. I'm involved in two free activities and then one you have to pay $3 a ticket for. Oh, um, for that, they're getting the kids involved. With, the, um, with that one, the $3 goes to the uh, Dunedin Wildlife Hospital and we bring along our little soft toys and we bandage them up. But that inspires you to go, yeah. oh, I can do that at home. You know, I can rip up an old T-shirt and my baby can spend some time bandaging up their little one and putting it into a shoebox and looking after it and tending for it and things like that. And then, of course, if you need to head out, you must go to this. Oh, yeah, that's oh, a great yay! movie. <laughs> it is a great movie. It was such an honour to be a part of it. And it's so you much did fun. very well teaching everyone to play brass I instruments. Know, with all my vast years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what acting, acting's all about. <laughs> I love it because I'm thinking about my boys and I go, you know, they, they pretty much will tear anything apart within a couple of minutes, but they do actually love to sit and draw. Yes. Um, and write what, whatever they can write, but they will sit there for that amount of time. And I'm looking at things um, like that, that you're talking about the exploding um, boomerang, etc., and with the Easter egg wrappers, because we've still got a whole heap of Easter eggs that we haven't got through. Right. And there's Save different it. things that yeah. you can do with Create them. Create collages or wrap things up and hide them. You have to find, go and find stones in the garden and then wrap them up and they can hide them around and, and carry on that Easter hunt. Okay, the chocolate's gone, but you can still have the fun of the hunt and the totally boring and things like that. Blocks. You can build a tower. You can, some kids will play differently than others. So mm. they would rather sort blocks and things like that into heights or, or sort the Barbies or the, the Lego toys as opposed to building and being creative with it. But that's fine too. Just support them and have fun mm. and spend a little bit of time with them. I mean, there's so many fantastic games you can play. There's um, all the different arts and crafts things here. Yeah. Chalk. Drawing out the old hopscotch. Oh, yeah, on yeah, the driveway. Drawing out the four square balls um, set up and things like that. Or um, a trail that they need to cycle along, a long line along the footpath that they need to cycle the along. The track, Susie, sounds like starting an activity that has more than one use, maybe. Oh, yeah. 
so that they get to design the activity and then take part in the activity. Mm. Definitely. And do you have to tailor this a bit? I imagine like your boys will play together sometimes, but they'll want to do quite different oh, things very, sometimes. They will, yeah, they play together, but actually when it comes to stuff like that, whether it's they craft do or their own thing. they mm. just are very, because they're very different. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. you've yeah. got to tailor your activity a bit sometimes as well into splitting it as to who That's wants exactly. to do what. Or you can actually explore uh, giving them the same things and seeing what they do differently. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And that's allowing it. It's celebrating who they are and their differences and just letting them explore, as you say. Um, the library is a fantastic place too, an amazing resource, and they have so many school holiday program options. But you can come away with books. I mean, you can take away 30, I think, from an Auckland library. And we used to do that regularly when the kids were small. My daughter, reading books. My son, he liked art, he liked mm. fashion, he liked all sorts of things. So he'd come away with more kind of textbooks and books way beyond his years, but he loved looking at the pictures and those sorts yeah. of things. So, yeah. yeah. Susie, what's your favourite school holiday activity here? Well, girls. Oh, the uh, elastics. I wonder if it would be the elastics, yeah. yeah May, it's the right colour for you. I think we really need to give it a go. And you're the wearing flat you know shoes. I, I loved doing it when I was younger. Nowadays, not so much. Come on. Knees are <laughs> mad. Yeah. We'll give it a go in the yeah. ad break, shall we? Yeah, OK. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Susie, for reminding us about being present yeah. and for reminding us about the time that we can spend with our children if you know if we are lucky enough to be at home at yes, some exactly. point during these um, yeah. school holidays. So appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. <clears throat>